guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, we cross-examined Detective Gumshoe. He basically just told us all the facts about this case. And we started cross-examining Lotta Hart. And Maya got put in, get into contempt of court, so I guess we don't have her anymore. Um, also, this new prosecutor is freaking crazy, and I absolutely freaking hate him, so yeah. Let's go. I saw a clear as day. The man on the boat was Mr. Edgeworth. That's it? Uh-oh. I don't know if I can find anything in that. What will Maya say? Uh, okay. I think, I think we kind of went over this, so, yeah. Okay. <laughs> got you. Got you, Miss Hart. Finally. W what You got what? Look at this photograph. The photo I took? The very same. There's something I want you to see in this photo. It's quite clearly visible. The fog, Miss Hart. So... So? This picture was taken with professional, high-quality film, correct? Yet even it cannot capture the faces of the men on the boat. Yet you claim you saw Mr. Edgeworth. How? What? What? Mr. Wright has a point! That's why I told her not to say that in their testimony, please. What the heck? Hold on, hold on, hold on a minute! Yet yeah, now she has said it, Ms. Mr. Von Karma. How could you possibly see Mr. Edgeworth? Explain yourself. Are we going to ignore the fact that he just said, I told her not to say that? Excuse me. Ms. Hart. What? Could you see the defendant that night? Of course. I said I could. I meant to. And I meant I could. Then please testify to the circumstances of your sighting. I did it. I finally found a hole in Mr. Von Karma- in Von Karma's carefully vague testimony. Are we just going to ignore the fact? Are we just going to ignore the fact that he said I told her not to say that? In a court of law. I mean, Edward did the same thing in Turnabout Sisters, but like, are we just going to- Anyways. You're right. It was a cold night and the fog was thick as grits. So once I was finished setting up my camera, I got back in the car. Still, I brought my binoculars with me. When I heard that noise out in the lake, I looked for my binoculars. See? No problem. Hmm, you use binoculars? Very well, you may begin your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. This one better be good. Are binoculars any better than a camera? You're right, it was cold night and the mitt was mitt, mitt? Mist was thick as grits. So once I was finished sitting on my camera, I got back in the car. Still, I brought my binoculars with me. When I heard that noise out on the lake, I looked with my binoculars. I don't know. If there was a heavy fog, how would binoculars change that at all? What do you mean? Even binoculars can't see through fog, but you say you clearly saw him? Ugh. I did, yeah. Enough. There is no room for doubt in her testimony. Hmm, she sounded pretty doubtful to me. But I had to find a clear contradiction first. I don't care how many Von Karmic objections I get. I'm going to find a hole in this testimony if it's the last thing I do. Are you kidding me? Uh... Ugh. press everything <laughs> so how could you see Edgeworth now just hold your horses for a second you hasty Yankee tabs never tops I'm sorry I cannot speak today you hasty Yankee tabs to find a, a gal where I'm from defense attorneys have trouble with that as it is nobody loves me <laughs> I love you Phoenix and Edgeworth loves you your camera? Yeah, it's got an automatic- Fuck you. The issue we are concerned with here is Miss Hart seeing Mr. Edgeworth. The camera has nothing to do with this at all. Objection sustained. Ugh, he's not letting her answer any of my questions. Binoculars? Yeah, binoculars. Yesterday you mentioned that you were out looking for shooting stars, correct? Well, yeah. 
Wouldn't you need a telescope, not binoculars, for that? Uh. I've got doubts about your camera, too. Was that really to take pictures of meteor showers? The camera is irrelevant to this case. You can't say that for certain. Mm, Mr. Royt, is the camera really relevant to this case? If you believe it is, you may continue with your line of questioning. But know this. If you find nothing with this, you there will be consequences. Well, Mr. Royt, do you wish to press further about the camera? Um. Uh. Yes. This is make it or break it time. The camera is of utmost importance, Your Honor. It is perhaps the key to this entire case. Therefore, I will continue with my line of questioning. Well, maybe I went a little overboard there. Very well. Miss Hodge, you may testify to the court about the camera. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. The camera was said to take pictures of a meteor shower. How? Why? What do you mean? You were photographing shooting stars? <laughs> That's a lie. Says who? I saw the camera you set up yesterday. It was pointed directly at the lake. You have to point a camera upwards to take photos of the stars, Miss Hart. Oof! Mr. Royd, what are you driving at? The witness was not at the lake to photograph shooting stars, Your Honor. W well, then what exactly was she photographing? Oh, I got it. Your Honor, take a look at this. What was, what was Miss Hart trying to photograph at the lake? Forty. Miss Hart, this is what you were trying to photograph. What's this? A newspaper article? Gordy? Oh, the site of a gold lake. Well, Miss Hart? Uh, I never heard of no lake monster. You got proof or something? Let's say you proved that I was down at the lake trying to photograph this Gordy. Ah, sh oh, no. Uh, maybe her camera is the proof. That could be it. I have it. Proof. Hmm, intriguing. Very well, let's see it. And no joking around this time, please. Here is proof that the witness was trying to photograph Gordy, the lake monster. There's just a camera again. The proof, Miss Hart, is your own camera. Your camera was set to take photos in response to loud noises, correct? Thus, this photograph here went taken when a gun fired on the lake. And here, this article about Gordy. According to this article, Gordy made a loud noise when it emerged. Well, you were trying to photograph Gordy, weren't you? That's why you had your camera set up to respond to loud noises. Oh, oh, I see. I too thought it was a little strange. Yeah, sure. Well, Miss Hart? You were camping there to try and take a photo of Gordy, weren't you? Yeah. Not bad. Are all you lawyers that smart? So smart, boy. I was down there trying to photograph Gordy. You got me. So what? Huh? That don't change what I saw, does it? Exactly. What you just used several precious minutes of- What you just used several- Oh, okay. What you just used several minutes of our precious time to prove is nothing more than that the witness is an idiot who thinks monsters exist. It, hey! But as she so succinctly said, so what? It changes nothing. Not true. You were hiding the whole thing about Gordy for some reason, I know it. But what could it have been? Whatever it is, I'm getting to the bottom of this. Miss Hart, why did you hide the fact that you were searching for Gordy from the court? Please revise your testimony. Right, fine, I'll testify. It won't change nothing, though. Something will change. It has to. And I'm going to spot it. <laughs> Actually, I'm not a research student at a university. I'm an investigative photographer. Imagine what a scoop it'd be if I got a picture of that monster. That's why I was camping out by the lake. But that's all I was hiding. When I heard the bang, I looked straight out at the lake. There wasn't much else to look at, so I just watched the boat the whole time. Then I saw a flash near one of the man's hands, and I heard another gunshot. I was looking right at that boat the whole time, crossed my heart and hoped to fry. Hmm. Well, Mr. Roy, you may cross examine the witness. Fuck you. The witness's testimony is unchanged from before. Whether she is a research student or a photographer has no bearing on this case. 
There is no need to waste more of our time with another pointless cross-examination. <clears throat> I claim the defense's right to cross-examine the witness, Your Honor. Mon Karma's up to something, I know it. He doesn't want me to cross-examine her because... Why? Was there a contradiction? Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. You seem sure of yourself. You must have something in mind. Huh, that would be a first. <laughs> very funny. You understand that this is your last chance at a cross-examination, Mr. Wright? If there is no problem with the testimony this time, we will let the witness leave. I will announce my verdict at that time, Mr. Wright. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Whew. Uh... sure about that. I think it's time you told us why you felt you had to hide your true purpose at the lake. Heck, if word got out what I was up to, the lake would be swarming with competitors. Competitors? Yeah, second-rate shutterbugs trying to steal my scoop. Uh, is that the only reason you were hiding the truth? W well actually... Mr. Wright, I'll not have you answer asking questions with no relevance to this case. Whatever you say, Von Karma, I know you told her to keep quiet. Exactly what sort of sound was it? Well, I never heard one before, so I can't say for sure, but it sounded like a gunshot. It was a lot sharper than a... than... It was a lot sharper a sound than I would have expected. Hmm... There wasn't much else to look at? Yep. I don't know. She heard a bang and she thought Gordy was out there. I kind of doubt she'd waste any time looking at a boat. What? What did I do now? What are you giving me that look for? Definitely suspicious. Maybe it's time for some evidence. Witness, continue. Hold your hush, puppies, pops. I'm getting there. You said maybe it's time for evidence, but I'm gonna keep pressing. Was there nothing on the lake but the boat at that time? Huh? Wait, so you're thinking maybe he was shot from some other place? I don't think so, no. The lake was as smooth as glass and nobody was on the shore either. Hmm. I better find some sort of contradiction in this testimony. I won't be able to beat Von Karma any other way. There has to be something. Okay. Um. Okay. It just feels weird. I'm not sure if there's any evidence to, s to show. Miss Hart, were you really looking at that boat? Well, what's with you? Of course I was looking at it. It was the only thing out there. Any normal person would be looking at it. I agree. Any normal person would. But you are far from normal. Well, what? Y'all want to step over here and say that? I'm gonna throw hands. You were camping at the lake to take a picture of Gordy. Think about it. What would you do if you heard a loud noise? You'd be scanning the lake for any sign of Gordy, that's what. You wouldn't give the boat a second thought. Ugh! Order, order! Continue, Mr. Wright. You testified that you were watching the boat through binoculars. However, you wouldn't need binoculars to watch that boat. You needed them to search for Gordy, and that's what you were doing. Well? Hm. Well, now that y'all mention it. I did sort of take my binoculars and kind of scan the lake a bit. I mean, Gordy might be out there and all. Miss Hart, are you saying you were not watching the boat then? S sorry, y'all. I wasn't fibbing, really. I was. I just thought I could, you know, I could be a witness to murder and all. I kind of got excited. I was sure I was watching that boat till now. This, this is totally uncalled for. 
But, but uh, hey, you got the photograph, you got proof. Still, we can't see who's shooting who with this. Right, right. That's why I took this photo when- Oh my god. Witness, that's enough. You've had a long day. Shut your pie hole. Sh shut my- what? What was she gonna say? She took the photo and she what? Wait a second. She even had, the, had a photograph to prove it. But she really can't tell from the photo who, the, who was shooting. That's why she said she's gonna enlarge the photo. She said it'll drop the quality of my, but it should let us see who's who. Ow. She enlarged that photo. Why won't Von Karma let her show it? I've got a hunch. I bet that enlarged photo shows something bad for Von Karma. This is my chance. If I'm wrong, though, it'll mean prison for Edgeworth, or worse. What should I do? Miss Hart, look at this photograph. You enlarged this photograph, did you not? Y yeah, I did. Why has that enlargement not been presented to the court? B because it does not exist. What are y'all talking about? You were the one who told me not to show it in court in the first place. Mm -mm. You old fool. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's the meaning of this, Mr. Von Karma? Uh, um... Miss Hart. Show the photo to the court. Show us the enlargement. Ah, <laughs> The prosecution reaches the submission of this evidence. Objection denied. The witness will show the enlargement to the court. <laughs> Here it is. I'm sorry, I like I like gibber I <laughs> I like mumbled my von Karma line, I'm sorry. Hmm, we still cannot see who is firing in this. It could be the defendant, or maybe it's not. Regardless, I'll accept this as evidence. Wait a second. I'll be now, Mr. Wright. Hmm. <clears throat> there has to be something. You asked for the enlargement, you got the enlargement. And little good it has done for any of us. That's why I requested she not show it. Hmm. I suppose this means that the cross-examination is over, obviously. No, it is not. Now I would like to close the cross-examination of Miss Lotta Hart. None too soon. That was a flagrant waste of my time. Mr. Von Karma, do you have anything to add? I stated everything I needed to when this trial began. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Nothing, of course. Then I believe it is time for me to declare my verdict. Wait, it's not supposed to go like this. There has to be a clue in this photo somewhere. This is bad. Real bad. What should I do? Ejection! Your Honor, there is something decidedly strange with the enlargement. What might that be? Mr. Wright, you will show the goal what you mean. What about this photo is strange? Okay, here goes nothing. I'll show the judge what's strange about this photo. It's this. It's his arm. See, if you were to turn your body like like the way that he is, the arm that he's shooting with is left is his left arm. So, let's do it. Here, Your Honor. The shooter? I'm not sure I understand. What about the shooter is strange? Can you be more specific? Specific, right. I'll show the judge what's strange about this photo. hand. Can I get the hand? Here, Your Honor. There's- wait. What the heck? Oh, okay, cool. Look at the hand holding the pistol, Your Honor. The hand? That hand directly contradicts another piece of evidence. This man's left hand does what? Let me show you. I'll show you the evidence that the left hand contradicts. The evidence is clear. The man in this photograph is holding that pistol in his left hand. However, the prints on the murder weapon were from Edgeworth's right hand. Ergo, the man shooting the pistol in this photograph is not Mr. Edgeworth. <sighs> Ugh. 
now that everyone in the courtroom has quieted down, I would like to reconvene this court of law. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? You have given us defi definitive proof today. We now know that it was not Mr. Edgeworth who fired the pistol that night. However, this leaves us with a rather large problem. If Mr. Edgeworth didn't do it, then who shot our victim? Precisely. As we have seen, there were no other people on the lake that night. Who but the defendant could have shot the victim? The victim himself? Larry! Uh... I mean, Ezra did say that it could have been the victim himself. There is only one explanation remaining. The man who shot the victim was none other than the victim himself. Order, order! So you are saying that the victim committed suicide? Yes, Your Honor. I can think of no other explanation. Hmm. Indeed, that does seem to be the only remaining option. Oh my god, my throat. I'm so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. But suicide is out of the question. W what An examination of the victim's wound reveals the distance at which he was shot. The distance? The victim was clearly shot from further than a meter away. A meter? That, that's three feet. There is no way it could have been suicide. Order, order! Mr. Von Kahn, are you sure of the accuracy of your data? Of course, I had already considered the possibility of suicide, you see. Uh... Hmm... I see. Very well, allow me to state my opinion. Considering the situation, the shooter had to be the defendant, Mr. Edgeworth. However, the prints on the gun revealed that the shooter was not Mr. Edgeworth. This is a conundrum. Therefore, I would like to suspend proceedings for the trial for the, for this trial for the 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 court <laughs> the court orders the defense and the prosecution to further investigate this matter. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. That is all. This court is adjourned. Oh my God, my voice it hurts. It hurts so much. I am not. I have not been staying hydrated today. Oh God, it shit hurts. Oh, that was a close one. Hey, don't you have anything to say? No, I have yet to be declared innocent, Bright. Well, yeah, but what happened out there on that lake anyway? If he didn't commit suicide, then who... The shooter was about a meter away, too. W what? Don't give me that look. I did not kill him. I was just kidding around. Hmm. Look, I'm going to go check on Maya. Oh, right. What? Tell her something for me. What? Tell... Tell her to watch what she says in court. That's all. Yeah, I'm sure she'll be happy to hear you say that, Edgeworth. Jerk. I'm sure he was just trying to say thank you. I requisitioned a transcript of Lada's entire testimony. I thought it might give me some ammunition for the trial tomorrow. Of course, she didn't see the shooter. So the only part of her testimony that stood was the bang she heard. Lot of supposition, add to the court record. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I cannot speak. I just... I just... My throat hurts from doing the Judge Von Karma and Gumshoe today. Yes, I recorded all the trial session sections in one day. Um, both the trial sections in one day. So, voicing Gumshoe, the judge, and Von Karma all at the same time, that shit hurts my voice so much. And I just cannot speak today for whatever reason. I am- I don't even know what's going on with me today. Anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, if you enjoyed this episode, please remember to leave a like, leave a comment, or maybe even subscribe. I will go ahead and get some water, and I will see you next time. Thank you.